Hello everyone, I'm going to tell you how you can get up to 10,000 XP per hour. We're just going to do some farming of kills in the final mission. First thing you need to do is start a posse, a two-person posse. So grab a friend. If you don't have a friend, feel free to use the comment section below and try to group up with amongst yourselves. That would be kind of neat if you guys can do it together. So now we're going to select a progress menu, go to the story mission, and we are going to replay the final mission called Kill Them Each and Every One. Now there's a specific... Uh, things that we need to do here in order to enter this as just a posse of two, not as a four player group. So once you get here, start matchmaking. Matchmaking is going to put you in a group of four, which is what we don't want because anything more than two is going to diminish our XP returns per hour. So we're going to matchmake. Once you enter a lobby, if you're on PlayStation, hold the circle button. If you're on Xbox, I think it's the B button. So hold the circle button to back out and then you can exit with posse. You need to do that. Now you're going to be put right outside the mission start point. You can see here the yellow circle. Now in order to do this, you would have one of you have to, the posse leader had to have completed this mission previously. The other person has to have at least completed the first tutorial mission in uh, online. So now once you're back out, you notice the time of day changed because uh, Carl here crashed. Now Carl is my friend, good friend Norm. You know him if you're on Discord, you'll you'll know Norm hopefully. So Norm and I are going to now gallop over to the starting point together. So have them hop on your horse and come in here together. When you come in here together, you have the option to start matchmaking again, but you don't want to do that. Start mission is the option you want to choose there. Now you will be starting this mission just as a posse of two. Can't do this one with one and three or four would just make this a uh, much longer grind. Now I'm going to hop on my horse, Jeff, shout out to Jeff in discord. So Norm and I are going to hop on Jeff. Well, that came out wrong. But anyways, we are now go to Fort Mercer. You can follow this guy if you want, follow the leader. Otherwise, just if you know where Fort Mercer is, just go there. Now, what makes this exceptionally amazing to get XP and the best way to get XP in this game by far is there's a high number of enemies that you can kill in a very short period of time. But there's a bonus. You're going to be granted special ammo. It's one of the conditions of the mission. They're going to give you a better armor and they're going to give you special ammo. Special ammo gives you plus five XP per kill that you use the special ammo. And we have just enough of that in order to complete this. And when you restart the checkpoint, you'll get that 50 uh, rounds back of special ammo. So immediately, as soon as this cutscene is over, equip whatever weapon you want. In this case, I'm going to start off with the basic carbine repeater. And then when you're holding over that weapon, hit the D-pad to select the special ammo. It's very critical to do this. So now at this point, we are just going to clear out the fort up until we get to the final six to eight enemies. Because after that point, a cutscene will happen. A boss will come out. A heavily armored shotgunner is going to come out. If you reach that point accidentally, you're gonna, you can kill yourself and then just restart the mission instead of restarting the checkpoint. So we're gonna go all the way up until that point. I'm gonna pull off an execution kill here. When you do an execution kill, you're gonna get 30 XP. That is amazing. You're gonna get the special ammo bonus, an execution bonus, the eyes wide shut bonus plus the standard kill bonus. So you're gonna get 30 XP. If you're on the ultimate edition, you'll get 36 XP or 34, or 30, I forget what it is. I have the standard version. You will even get bonus XP, at least until you're level, I think 25. So you wanna go through here, kill enemies as fast as you can. Try to do executions. You pull off an execution by walking or running up to an enemy and then hitting the R2 button. If you're running at them, you'll kind of tackle them that's a little less efficient. If you could just kind of walk up to them and then do an execution, it's much, much quicker. So my partner blew up, opened the front doors with the guns outside. And you notice I died. That is totally cool that I died. It's awesome because you have to kill yourselves three times in order to restart the checkpoint. You see in the top right corner, team lives. It says one. You start with two. So just go through here as fast as you can. Don't worry too much if you die, if you don't get towards the end. It doesn't matter. In or you can just restart the checkpoint and you're going to be right outside with all the enemies respawn, so it's not going to matter. The best I've done in a single run was about 700 XP, I think it was. 
which puts me well over the 10,000 XP per hour. And typically, you're not going to have to do it. You're going to have to have, like, literally the perfect run where almost all of the kills is going to be execution kills. Now, you see, I almost killed this guy. I waited for him to stand back up so I can do an execution. Didn't work, so I did it a second time, third time, and eventually I'll, I'll finally get it there. Because the execution, again, is going to give you twice as many uh, XP as just a standard headshot kill would. Again, a headshot kill will give you 15, and execution will get you 30. So I'm just going to run up to these guys as fast as I can. I run, and then what I do is once I get close to them, I, I slow down. I stop sprinting, and then I just kind of try to walk up to them for the final foot or two in order to do the quicker execution move. Again, you have the tackle, and then you have the kind of the put shove back execution, depending if you're running or sprinting. At that point, I was sprinting at them when I did the execution. It's a little slower of an animation, and it leaves you more exposed. Now, you can see we are at the uh, kind of the tail end of the Fort Mercer encounter here. So you got to be mindful of uh, that you don't reach that checkpoint. If you do that again, you'll have to restart the mission from the beginning. So at this point, we kind of just get a little wild, a little loosey goosey here. We just kind of just kind of go carefree. Don't really care too much if I die. Again, we still have uh, a one team life, so we'll have to kill ourselves a combined uh, t two times in order to hit that, uh, be able to restart the checkpoint. I'll also show you two more runs after this as well. Uh, pattern is a little different. The pattern that we kind of do now, and I'll explain it more in detail on the next run. But once you've done it with the same partner enough times, you guys kind of have an idea of where you're going to be, where your partner is going to be. Again, make sure you have your special ammo equipped. You'll have exactly enough ammo to do this run every time. I mean, but for especially in the beginning, it's just like you can see on the right side of the screen, just the XP just keeps rolling in. Of course, that looks like they want to try pulling off that same execution on me. We won't allow that. Now, you can see the number of red dots on there. I'm getting really concerned, so we're just trying to let them kill us. Again, you do have more armor in this mission than you normally would. Now, at this point, hit the X button. Hold it down to reach high tech checkpoint. When you retry the checkpoint, you're going to have to switch back to your special ammo. So select your gun while you're selecting it. Hit right on the D-pad to select the, the split ammo. A whole bunch of people out here. I would love to do more execution kills here but because there's so many people. Uh, you're, you're too open for attack from other people. So I just do kind of some headshot kills here. Clear this out. If I can thin it enough to get a execution kill, I'll do it. Again, if you die, who cares? Your checkpoint is like 20 feet away. It's, it's really, really an amazing and efficient way to do this. Now, again, as far as our pathing go and what we do is we clear out everyone here in the front. There is someone on a Gatling gun on the left and some one on the right. Those are going to be the guys that will probably kill you if you find yourself dying here. So try to target them first. We try to take them out right away. I took the left side. He took the Norm took the right side. Norm then blew up in this gate. I come in here. I shoot the first few guys that I see here. Just because there's so many people here. Usually I'll just go straight upstairs at this point, but I decided, ah, what the hell, let's just go ahead and do a, some quick XP stealing it from Norm. He'll never know, I promise. He won't watch this video. Then I come upstairs. I kind of do the top. He does the bottom portion here in this uh, first half. This time we got an easy execution on that guy. That guy gave us a little issues the last time. Again, always prioritize execution kills with the special ammo. Uh, let's see, it looks like I died here. But again, who cares? We got three, two lives to, to play with. You start right outside. It doesn't take you long right to get back into the fray. It's worth taking a chance, taking a risk at running at someone to get the execution kill when you can get twice as much experience when you do it. Norm has already kind of moved on towards the back side. I fell a little behind because of my death. So I'm going to drop down, kind of clean up a guy here. But there is going to be no better legit way 
to farm XP than doing this. This is not an exploit. I guess you can call it an exploit, but this is just farming basic game mechanics. This is something that you do in thousands of different games. There's no way this can be patched, so don't worry. The only way they could probably slow down people from doing this is by adding in more checkpoints or something. Or not giving you refilling your special ammo. I suppose that was probably, that would be the best way to do it. So there we go. We ran out of lives, so restart the checkpoint. Go ahead, equip. Make sure you equip your special ammo. We're going to start it again. The way the, the game really halts your 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 level grinding and, and is just it's almost absurd. You can almost tell that they're trying to to find a way to get you to buy any kind of microtransactions. The gold bar situation and how long it takes just to old uh, to earn one gold bar and a lot of things that you have to purchase has such a high cost of gold bars. It is kind of a little ridiculous. I hope Rockstar does some balancing. It would just it would just make it a little easier. Right now it's it's really really slow going. This if you farm this is still going to take you a long time to rank up the the 50, the 100. I can't even imagine how long it would take. It may take if you're around level 20, it may take about 45 minutes to go to 21. But considering how long races take, how long any of the online PvP things take, how little XP is awarded for most tasks. Stranger missions gives you higher XP when you complete it. However, the length of time and the travel and everything that's involved, the best way is by far the, the farm kills. And since this is where you're gonna get the highest number of enemies in the smallest area with a checkpoint, a generous checkpoint system for us, if you had to ride your horse all the way back from where we started every time you restarted, this would still be the best and most efficient way to farm XP. But because the checkpoint is right outside, it makes it even better. And then with the, the bonus you get to, for the special ammo, and then of course with the execution kills, there's a solid one right there. Of course, one of his friends took me out. Huh, who cares? We need to die three times before we... Uh, have to restart the checkpoint. And what's the worst case scenario? If you die in here and you lose all your lives, you just respawn back outside. Granted, the outside people, there's less opportunities for uh, execution kills. Yeah, I made sure he got back up. And then, I like this, Norman, I just shot that guy at the same time. I'm wondering if he got ex uh, the execution XP for that as well, or if it was just me. I feel like his shotgun uh, went off first. I think he was using a shotgun. He got that as the pre-order bonus. So again, you're gonna average probably around 7,500 XP per hour. Uh, if you, you can spike up to 8,000. If you really do this for, for a while and, and get your patterns down and, and you have a good partner that work with you, understand that you know you do this and you do that uh, you can really with the skill of the execution system get 10,000 or even more xp than that there were a few games a, a few attempts where i would have averaged more than what it would have been to get the the 10,000 i feel like i can clean up this this kind of this back half a little better snipe off a few people and then done execution kills but again you don't want to get to less than you know six or seven or eight enemies otherwise you'll trigger the next checkpoint anyways i'm done rambling i want to thank you guys for watching this video if you found it helpful if you made it this far let me know in the comments and hit that like button and if you're a trophy hunter and you love red dead redemption make sure you subscribe we'll see you soon